Hello everyone, Polish links here and it's time for a sequel to Invisible Apartment. This is of course Invisible Apartment Zero by Milan Kazarka. And right now his Twitter account should appear and the link to the website of the game should appear. Yeah, the premiere was two days ago, I think. Uh, that's when I put it, so yeah, I think it was two days ago. Uh, so, let's not wait and play it, because I believe this might be a great prequel. Let's go. Prequel? Sequel? Crap. I don't know what I'm talking about, let's start. What strange phenomena we find in a great city. All we need to do is stroll about with our eyes open. Life swarms with innocent monsters. Charles Baudelaire. Hmm. Well, yeah. This is kind of exciting. Oh, I can move the camera. It would be fun if someone noticed that it's moving. Charles, are you there? Yeah. I hacked another cam. Uh, it's fun, right? Be sure to always go through a bunch of proxies, newbie. I sure did, and it took a while. <clears throat> the connection lags a bit, but I almost don't notice. This is so exciting. I feel like a central intelligence. Oh, look at me. I am spying on people. Go through this full body scanner, meh. Get in line. Getting slave! <laughs> I'm a rule follower. If there are rules to follow, I follow, right? In my dreams! I thought you like flying in your dreams. It's on my agenda, right after following the rules of Sleepy Land, yeah. But right here, right now, I'm a security camera admin connected through a secretary. Uh, security camera admin's credentials. I'm a dude named Ben who was too lazy to secure his network. Hey Kay, when are you gonna hack my camera? Who would be interested in seeing your messy place? Besides, you know I'm waiting for a dude on a white horse, right? Oh right. For a moment there I thought you'd settle with just the horse. Retard, go get a mosquito bite on your eyeball. <laughs> yeah, the mosquito will probably mistaken your bra for my eyeball. <laughs> God damn it. Just you wait until my growth phase finishes, then I won't have time for puny men like you. You ain't finding a hacker like me, babe. Are you still playing? <clears throat> Are you still playing with your computer in the dark? Do something productive. Clean your messy room. Yeah, right away, right away. Yes, so after Miss has some phones. Oh boy, sorry for the background noise. It's one of those days. So, what are you playing on your computer, Kay? Well, definitely not a first-person shooter. For that I need to hack a helmet camp of a soldier. Oh, you would want that, would you know? I can't imagine you being, to, being into gore and such. Sorry, it's probably just some anger talking instead of me. It's okay, I understand. I'm getting heat from my folks for driving the electricity bill to new heights. <laughs> anyway, I will need to disconnect now. You stay cool and keep your eyes open. Be sure to use a secured connection before you play with other people's equipment, alright? Sir, yes sir! I take that for a yes. Sir, yes sir! <laughs> Bye! Hi Kay! Camera, camera, what are you looking at with your little gas eye? You're looking at boring people in a coffee house. <sighs> Let us hug some other, more interesting one I cyber creature or shall I watch some pirated anima first nah this is way better i like the adrenaline kick of hacking 
It's as if our, your computer screen produces an energy drink. Clickity clack. What's going on? What is this? Casey looks outside of her window. All the other apartments still seem to have electricity. Uh -huh. Mom turned off the electricity to my room again. Why? Should I rather work on my cleaning skills? What will that bring me? Casey drops on her bed. Nothing else to do in this place. Dang, this music sounds great. Chell is my only real friend. He's been here since forever, and I hope it stays that way. We both grew up up here in the suburbs of the largest city on earth. The only thing you can point your eyes at is the horizon with high-rise buildings, palaces of the city center. The only ones who stay here are people who don't need any excitement in their lives. But I want to see the world. I want to live in the center. I hope to go there one day with joy and start a new life I can be proud of. My parents, of course, don't think I can ever make it. They want me to be a reasonable young lady, to study and eventually find a man amongst the local goons who go out at night to drink cheap beer. I'm better, and so is Joel. We are both bored in this place. These empty streets, the concrete and the writing on the walls, the dirty corners and all the people looking at you from their windows, listening to what you say. Although we are in reach of a place of everything we remain in a village, we remain poor. People around here are like hoarders. They live in their small castles. They acquire cheap electronics, furniture, outlet clothes. They pack it all into their small living rooms, bedrooms, closets. They never travel and they hate foreigners. I want to escape and get to know people. I would have never know otherwise. Mm, five more minutes. I better wake up before noon or I'll have a headache again. This way beyond beauty sleep. I just don't worry. Don't wake up if I don't have to go to school. Joe will come to pick me up as usual. We hang out during this after uh, during the afternoon. The streets are empty here during the summer. Everyone is away on vacation. Only we remain. It's as if we are statues. I don't remember the last time I was on vacation somewhere. Not like I have any cash on my own. <laughs> and taking a stupid summer job isn't worth it. <laughs> Nothing else to do until, until Joel picks me up. Prepare? Joel. Prepare Joel's sandwich. Wait outside for Joel. Uh, let's prepare sandwich for him. I could prepare Joel something to eat. That's the least I could do. On her way to the kitchen, Casey goes to the living room, passing by the piano. <sighs> I must have been really naive when I was little to think that I'd actually become a pianist. People these days don't appreciate those kind of things. Casey prepares Joel a sandwich and heads out. I like hanging out in front of the house. I like the sun. And it's not like I'd meet anyone else. Cool, he brought his scooter with him today. He must have saved money for fuel again. To eat or to ride the scooter. He's probably hungry. Hey! What's up? Cool, you brought your scooter. To the river? To the river. Oh, I made you something. Huh? A sandwich? You actually prepared food? Did you level up or something? And here I was thinking that you'd actually appreciate it. 
I do. Oh my, thanks. I didn't eat anything today. This saves me. Yes! First good choice. Joshua takes three fast bites and the sandwich is gone. He looks like someone who didn't eat in a dec decade. Delicious. Hop on. I like sunny days like this one. They seem to be burnt into my memory instantly. The sun is shining brightly and I feel the wind in my hair. Riding the scooter and on, on a day like this sure is fun. We have a special, special spot at the river, a place where we go too often. The water is kind of low today, don't you think? Mm, I don't really remember how high is it usually. If you look at the concrete steps you can see where the river usually ends. Oh, that's normally underwater. It's all green and looks beaten up. Oh yeah, now that you mention it, I didn't rain for... It didn't wave... Uh, it didn't rain for a while. Oh, see those branches over there? Casey points to some branches stuck between rocks at the center of the river. Yeah? That's an ideal place for a body to get stuck, right? <laughs> You will be swimming with the fishes. You get some weird ideas, don't you? I like making stuff up. You know me. I think about everything. All the same time. And all the time. Everywhere. All I'm thinking about recently is how to buy a car. A car? You don't have anywhere to park it. And cars are expensive. Think about the places we could go to. You can travel far on a scooter. And we could take more things. Oh yeah, we could go to the capital, to the city center, and visit fancy places. We could even stay in the car for a day or two, if we wanted to travel further. I imagine it as a castle. Uh, yeah? This is blushing and looks in the opposite direction of Joel. So, what kind of car would you like to get? Oh, nothing too big, just a small car that would be practical. Probably something about 10 or even 20 years old that I fi can fix myself. Sleeping together in a small car during traveling? <laughs> <laughs> that look on her face. You don't have any money! I'll try finding a job here for a few months. After that we can go to the capital. I, I can't really help with that, can I? I can't do anything. What are you saying? You find a job as software engineer in the capital easy. Like, let me figure out a way to get us together. Uh, there. <laughs> Not together, there. Casey smiles. I think I like this plan. Yeah, let's do this. But are you really okay with working a shitty job for several months? There aren't really good opportunities around there. here other than retail. It's worth it. I will gladly move boxes or work as a cashier if it means that we can escape this place. Let's escape this place. I also want to go away. All those places we see. All the places we see through the cameras. Through the cameras, you hug. Those places are different than what they show in the movies. People that I see in cafes, bars, restaurants. Even those at home. You heard me hacking residential in house cameras, have you? Uh, I am curious to see how normal people live. I didn't see anything nasty. What I want to say is that those people are different than in the movies. They act naturally, they live at nice places, with a lot of shops and other people. Not like us, like us here in the suburbs. I feel you, Casey. I know what you mean. But you need to stop doing this. There's also the real thing out there. We'll just go there. You don't need to do anything illegal. We'll just need to travel to those places which you'll see on your screen. The real thing. I know it's there. I'm just impatient. I know you're impatient. You have that kind of personality. Just promise me that you will stop with it soon, okay? I will stop with everything too. So, but... We'll both end up 
as good citizens. We need to follow more rules out there. Rules. Casey looks at the ground. I'll be there, okay? Casey smiles. You need to, otherwise I will get lost. You won't get lost. You won't. You will see. Will you try and leave me at some street I don't know? No, I would hate that. Jeff has a grin on his face. <laughs> I might just do exactly that. Sadist! Sometimes it helps to just jump in the water, not knowing what awaits you. I know, but still, don't be mean to me and not as tough as you. Well, we will learn how to live out there together, okay? Promise! I promise. Propose to try to pay Casey's grandma a visit. Let us go home, it will be dark soon. Let's leave this choice for the next episode. Because why not? And you check out the game, it's worth it. Link in the description. See you in the next episode. Bye.